In this video, I will give some tips for fast recognition. This is specifically for the T, U and L, C, B, L, L cases, but all the techniques that I'll be showing can also be applied for any other LXS. General characteristics to look for are blocks, bars, opposite blocks or bars, and especially for the L cases, pseudo bars. That's whenever you have those two matching. So it's essentially a bar, but the wrong sticker of the corner matches the edge like that. One mistake I did when I started with CBLL is that I only looked at the corners to recognize which exact COLL case I have. And then I looked for characteristics to identify which of the 12 cases of that COLL I have. That means I had to look twice. For most of the T and U cases, the COLL can be easily recognized while looking for characteristics for the CBLL. For example, in this case, when you see this bar, you automatically also see the corners and know which case you have. And also for this U case, when you see this pattern, you automatically see the corners and know which case you have. But for these two COLL cases, when you have adjacents here and adjacents here for both of the cases, and the only difference is the location of the matching corners, I think for those cases it's not as easy to tell them apart quickly enough. But here's the thing. You can see these two cases as one big subset where you don't even need to check where the matching corners are. This is because similar cases always differ in the location of their characteristics. So for example, these two cases, you have this big pseudo block for both of the cases. But as you can see, for this one, the block is on the right and for this one, it's on the left. So you don't even need to check the exact COLL to know which case you have. Another example, here you have two bars for each of them. But for this one, they are on the right side and here they are on the left side. There are only two cases that could be confused and those are these two. So they both have a bar on the right side. However, those are different cases. So how would you tell those two apart if you don't recognize the COLL? Well, that's where a new technique comes in. I call it strong slash weak bars. What I mean by that, this one is a strong bar because it matches with one of these two colors. This one is a weak bar because it doesn't match with one of these two colors. And that's how to tell those two cases apart. Exactly the same applies to the T cases as well. When you have adjacent colors here and here, there are two cases that can be confused. So if you have a bar on the left here, those are still two different cases, but they can be, they can be told apart if you check for the strong slash weak bars. This one is a weak bar because it doesn't match with those two colors. This one is a strong bar because it matches with one of those two colors. That's pretty much all I wanted to say for the T and U cases. Now let's look at the L cases. L cases are more interesting. You can either use this 2x2 or this 2x2 here for recognition. I use this one. And then also these two stickers up here. The first step is to check if these two are same, opposite or adjacent colors. Then the second step is to look for characteristics around this 2x2 block. And for L cases, the strong slash weak blocks recognition is very important. So here you have a pseudo block. And this one is a strong pseudo block because it matches with one of these two stickers. Whereas here you have the same case. You have a pseudo block here, but it's a weak pseudo block because it doesn't match with these two stickers. So as you can see, we didn't check the exact COLL, but we're still able to tell these two cases apart. Now you know how to recognize very quickly, but I also want to give some tips for the transition from recognition to execution. Something that I like to do is see what the first few moves of the ALG do to the characteristics. I have two examples here. This one I know that the first move is parallel to this block. So I know I have to do U, F, and then I know that was the start of the ALG. And for this case, where the block is here and those two are adjacent and this is a weak block, for that one I know that the first few moves destroy this block, so like that. And then when you already know the beginning, then the rest of the ALG is also easy to remember. That's all I have for this video. If you want to learn CBLLs, a good source to do so is Juliet's ALG sheet. I'm gonna have a link to it in the description. Till next time, bye.